The innovations continue at GoPro. Welcome back to Text to Nation. I'm Fred Fishkin. Joining us from GoPro is Vice President of Global Marketing and Communications, Rick Lockery. Hi, Rick. Hi, Fred. Good to see you again. Great to see you too. I've run out of fingers now. I think we're up to <laughs> Hero 11. <laughs> let's, right. let's, let's talk about what's new here. That's Just right. announced. Uh, so yes, we announced the Hero 11 Black. So our latest edition of flagship camera, um, some of the big new improvements are a larger sensor. And what that larger sensor brings us is eight by seven aspect ratio. And, and GoPro is one of the first companies really kind of pioneer the, that super wide field of view with four by three back in the day. Um, and we kept improving on that image quality and now this is a first big step in even a bigger, wider field of view without the max lens mod, without doing capturing 360. And one of the big advantages for that, in addition to the more pixels to be able to punch in, crop in, you'll, you'll be able to shoot one way, but share anywhere. So what I mean by that is you're recording. And if you want to use that piece of content for YouTube 16 by nine, you easily crop it out. You can crop 16 by nine. If you want to use that same piece of content and share it on TikTok or Reels where it's nine by 16, that's easily done as well. So it really gives you a lot of flexibility in um, how you your, your output for content. Um, one of the other big things too is 10-bit color. So um, the color for professionals is... And even for regular users, is unbelievable now. It's more true to life. There's it's, it's more of a gradient, less of like the noticeable bands, um, especially when you're filming stuff at like sunrise, sunset, things like that. Um, and so that's that. Those are just a couple of the exciting new features. There's some new UI on it as well. Uh, but one of the things that we are most excited about is auto highlight videos. So I've been at GoPro a long time. And while the innovation we've done on the camera side has been phenomenal with the video stabilization and hyper smooth, one of the things year after year we always hear is, hey, we love your videos. I wish I could make videos like you. Over the last few years, we've put a lot into the quick app uh, that allows for you know easy editing, creates templates. So Someone like me, who's not an editor, I can make some fun videos with Quick. Now we took it a step further and essentially put that auto editing experience in the cloud. So when I come home after I'm surfing, I just simply open up my GoPro, plug it in to charge, and it'll automatically upload the content from my GoPro to the cloud, create an edit, and like a highlight video, and then send me a notification on my phone says your highlight video is ready. Tap it and enjoy. Now I can, if I want to edit it, I can edit it, but it's it's sent right to me. So it's really, we, we want to continue to remove the barriers to enable people to more easily create and share. And, you know, auto highlight is a big step forward. And this is, you know, the other thing over the last couple of years we've been really talking about is our subscription. And this is a big part of the value of the subscription are these tools that you get on the software side. Um, so we're really excited about auto highlight and that will be, um, that's available to any GoPro subscriber with a Hero 5 and later, uh, any of the cameras that support auto upload. Um, and then the other guy is this guy, Pismo. Oh, sorry, uh, Hero 11 Black Mini. Um, Pismo is the code name. <laughs> um, what? So you can right off the bat see this is smaller. So we're going back to a smaller form factor, but we kept all the same video performance as Hero 11 Black. That's why this is actually called Hero 11 Black Mini and not a silver or a white or whatever. It's got all the video performance so 5.3K, 60 frames, the 8 by 7 uh, aspect ratio, 10-bit color is in here. The other cool thing is it's got dual mounting fingers. So you can mount from the back or you can mount from the bottom. 
So what this does is it really creates a lower profile unit that works well on the visor of the helmet, on the front of the chin of the helmet, on a surfboard. It's just really kind of like we want to kind of get back to making a small, more compact uh, camera. And, and, this, and this little guy is super uh, durable as well. And it still has that larger sensor? Yeah, it's exact same sensor, exact same performance. The um, um, one of the things that's not in here is GPS. Um, so some of that stuff did the GPS needed to be uh, taken out to kind of fit everything in here and uh, make sure it wouldn't also overheat and stuff like that. So uh, is the battery a different form factor? It is a built. If you remember our session, it's a built-in battery, but it is based on the Enduro battery technology. So it's a longer lasting, longer running battery. Uh, we'll have, this will come out on October 25th. We announced it yesterday, but it'll be on sale on October 25th. Um, you, can, you can still find out all the information and sign up to be notified when it goes on sale at gopro.com. This guy with subscription is 299 uh, and this guy is 399. So here 11 black, uh, three, uh, 399, uh, Hero 11 Black Mini, 299. And just for, for people who may not be familiar with what a great deal the subscription is, the subscription costs how much? And you're knocking $100 off the price of the camera when you when you use it. The subscription is $50. So if, if you were to buy it retail, if you were to buy it without a subscription or retail, it's 490, Hero 11 Black is 499. Not a not a lot of head scratching that's needed there <laughs> before you make yeah. the decision. So, yeah. and what what are your thoughts, uh, Rick? About the uh, so many people are shooting so much video today. You you talked about TikTok and and other platforms too. Um, you know the shorts now on on YouTube even. Mm -hmm. So, tell folks if they're not that familiar with it and they've been using their phones, why maybe they should consider opting for one of the GoPros instead. Yeah, absolutely. It's it, it, it's still the same value proposition as it always has been. Um, you can you can do things with the GoPro that you can't do with the phone, or you might not want to do with the phone. So you, you're not really going to mount a phone on your helmet. It, it would look goofy. I'm sure you could figure out how to do it. Um, you're not going to mount it on a bike. You're not going to put it on the edge of surfboard. You're not. You don't really want to put it on a pole while you're skiing. Um, it's you know one it, it kind of looks goofy two it if you if you break it that's a whole different ball game of like breaking your phone and losing everything that's associated with your phone versus a gopro and a gopro as we know are you know as durable as all get out so they're they're built to take a, a beating now, in addition to the Hero 11 Black and, and, and the Mini, there is a Creator Edition, too. And Absolutely. that's just with the add-ons, right? Yeah, thank you. Thank you for reminding me about that. This 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 past spring, we came out with the Hero, Hero 10 Creator Edition. We now have the Hero 11 Black Creator Edition, which it comes with Volta, which is our, uh, our, our grip, our power grip tripod, uh, the media mod, and the and the light so it really is a vlogging powerhouse so if you're if you're into vlogging that is the best solution for you terrific so once again the, the pricing on, on these uh, go over them for us uh we've got 399 with subscription hero 11 black and 299 with subscription hero 11 black mini Terrific. And the subscription is $50. So you do want to subscribe. And there are other reasons for subscribing too, which you've already talked about. Really terrific, Rick. Yeah. Congratulations once again on, on all of the innovation there. Uh, it, it's great to see this continuing. How many years now for GoPro? I, I, funny you say that is 20, 20 years. So Nick started GoPro in October of 2002 right? Something like that. Wow. So it's, it's 20 years. Now it was, it, that's when he started the company. Um, and then it was uh, not quite two years later that the first camera came out. And now they're used all over professionally and 
with everybody else for fun too. Yeah. Yeah. GoPro.com is the place to go. Rick Lockery, thank you so much for taking the time with us. Thank you, Fred, for having me.